good morning students let us see our next topic collides so before going to this collides let us see the introduction of the collides how this one has got the name and thomas graham a scientist in the year 1861 what he has noticed is nothing but here he told that starch and also glue like substances starch is nothing but a sticky compound and also after cooking the rice you will be getting the starch so that starch is how it will be stick so that when we call it a starch so it is a sticky compound and also glue like compounds glue is nothing but gum like substances so we different when in which behavior it is different means when compared to solution of sodium chloride and also sugar if you take a clear liquid solutions for example salt water sugar water or sodium chloride water so means what here whenever you are taking a solutions the those type of solutions is in clear solution so when compared to starch and glue so means what here the thomas graham said that there will be a different in in their behavior compared to the solution of sodium and sugar so what he says means the solution of nacl and sugar so whenever you are taking salt water nacl solution and sugar solution so this can be easily pass it through parchment membrane so here parchment membrane is nothing but a filter paper this is one type of filter paper so means what if you take clear solutions so when you are taking a clear solutions like salt water and sugar water it can easily pass through the filter paper that when we call it as true solution so this type of solutions we call it as here true solutions so coming to collides so the substance is forming true solutions this one which is forming the true solutions automatically we are having crystalloids in shape if you take one mole of the sugar means one molecule of the sugar how it will be looking like a crystal if you take sugar it will be like a crystal and and the salt will be also like a crystal so means what here which can easily pass through means which are easily soluble those type of solutions we call it as true solutions and also those things we call it as what here crystalloids so means what true solutions which are form the substances which are forming true solutions these are known as crystalloids and the solution of glue the solution of glue and starch cannot pass through parchment membrane those type of things we call it as what means this means which cannot pass through the parchment membrane means the filter paper will be very small pores it is having which cannot even pass so those type of solutions we call it as this one colloidal solutions i think you have understood so the difference between true solutions and colloidal solutions so here the sticky compounds will which are the sticky compounds here we are taking clear liquids coming to here sticky liquids so when you compare these two this will form the colloidal solutions means the colloidal solutions which is forming that when we call it as collides so this is nothing but what here this is about the collides so here colloidal solutions or we can say we can say simply salts also so the difference in the diffusion means what is the what is the thing we have to discuss here about is collides so the difference in the diffusion to a parchment membrane means whenever the difference the difference can be explained only through the collides in dissolved state 
from bigger particles which cannot pass through small pores of the Purchin membrane. In other words, we can say crystallites are broken down in solution and it can form ions which can diffuse quickly. Yes or no? If you have absorbed sugar molecules, if you are taking so in the water, so that even is a crystal. So when you dissolve it in the water, automatically what happening? It is diffusing quickly and it is forming ions. So it is interacting means it depends upon the particle size of the same substance means if you take different solvents it will be the particle size will be different for example if you are taking NaCl is a crystalloid when you have dissolved in water what happens it forms crystalloid solution in benzene so automatically when you take a general example let us see general example soap you take it forms a colloidal solution in water but act as a crystalloid in alcohol. So means what here depending upon their particle solution these two are behaving. Means we should know about the particle size. So let us see about true solutions. So when your substances I have already mentioned that substances like NaCl sugar is dissolved in water means we can say it is a homogeneous mixture which is forming clear liquid we can say it is a homogeneous mixture so it, these are uniformly distributed in water so, so this type of solutions we call it as what true solutions so here the mass whatever we are taking means the ions of this solution we are taking very less amount of this sol solution so means what here it contains solute and also solvent so the solute particles are distributing the means it is disturbing the entire mass of this solvent yes or no so if you take a few salt automatically what happens it dissolves in water it is giving ions so what happening the solute whatever you are taking it distributing the solvent molecules so here the true solutions cannot see with her naked eye means it will be very minute so under microscope only we can see so the particle size of the true solutions how much we are having nearly the particle size nearly we are having about one micro millimeter so this is about the particle size of the true solutions so means what only such solutions only can pass through filter paper as well as perchain membrane. So this is about true solution. Now let us see suspension solutions. Before going to colloidal solutions, let us see suspension. So here we are taking insoluble substance like calcium carbonate CaCO3. So which is insoluble in water. If you have observed, calcium carbonate is insoluble in water even though you are shaking vigorously. So this one is a heterogeneous compound we can say. Why? Because it is not forming any clear liquid. It is forming two layers like this. Means it is insoluble. So whenever it is forming, there will be two, two type of compounds. One is solute, one is a solvent. So automatically we call it as what heterogeneous means what here different. So different mixture we are getting. So whenever we are getting different mixture. So this can be seen with our naked eye. So what happens which we can be seen with our naked eye. That one we call it as suspension solutions. So generally the particle size for suspension solution we are having 10 micro milli units so this is about particle size of the suspension solutions okay so 10 micro which we can see with our naked eye and ordinary filter paper with ordinary filter paper we can easily filter these type of compounds now let us see colloidal solutions so colloidal solutions means what generally such as gum for example if you take gum and mix it in water so when you are dissolving in water so it is also known as heterogeneous mixture why because it will be sticky compound it is not dissolving in water and it is a sticky compound so here when compared to particle size 
it is more than the true solutions but less than the suspension solutions so means what automatically we are having nearly 1 micro 1 milli micro units to 0 0.1 micro units so means what the size of the colloidal particles which we are taking is very much less compared to the wavelength of visible light so these particles cannot be seen with our naked eye or in a microscope also we cannot be seen these particles so these type of things we call it as what colloidal solutions so these three are the differences between the true solutions colloidal solutions and heterogeneous solutions so compared to here so means what true solutions we can say it is very transparent and coming to here almost transparent but here what opaque cube means suspension solution is opaque it will show some light yes or no so means what here brown it can show tyndall effect true solutions cannot show tyndall effect and coming to colloidal solutions it can show tyndall effect and suspension solutions also will show the tyndall effect so now let us see some colloidal solutions generally we are having two types of colloidal solutions one is dispersion phase in colloidal solutions there are two types that is dispersion phase and dispersion medium let us see first of all dispersion phase so dispersion phase is nothing but what we can say simply small particles solute particles which are dissolved in the solvent so means what here whenever it is dissolving in the solvent it forms a dispersed phase so means extremely small particles the small particles dispersed in a solvent we call it as what here dispersed phase means for example if you are taking a colloidal solution of silver so silver in water so automatically what happens the particle silver form a dispersed phase so example if you take silver in water so when you are taking silver in water automatically the particles of silver so this one will form a dispersion phase means what here we are considering only solute particles the small particles is not nothing but what here solute so that the solute will get dispersed in a solvent that one we call it as dispersion phase so now let us see dispersion medium so dispersion medium is nothing but what means here the solvent in which the particles are dispersed it forms a dispersion medium means generally we are taking the compound which is present in large excess so here for example here what i have told you small particles so here what we are taking very large particles we are taking means over here the solvent in which only solvent molecules will get dispersed that one we call it as what here dispersion medium observe clearly here small particles is dispersed in a solvent coming to here the solvent here small particles here we are taking large particles so this is nothing but dispersion phase and dispersion medium so some of the dispersion phase and dispersion medium let us see here dispersion phase dispersion medium colloidal solutions we are taking and example let us see so here for example if you are taking dispersion phase as a solid and dispersion medium is also a solid salt and sugar if you are mixing so automatically what um, this system is nothing but solid souls we can say so we can say here stones minerals gem stones so these are the examples means both we are taking solids dispersion phase is also a solid 
this special medium is also a solid so we are getting solid souls in the second example if you are taking one is dispersion phase is solid why because we are taking solid means what i have told you the smallest particle should disperse on the solvent so here we are taking what large molecules so dispersion medium means solvent molecules so it is forming souls simply souls so we can say paint paint is an example for this gold solution is a example for this and also muddy water when rain comes if you see on the road there will be muddy water so these are the examples like this so when let us assume that rain is a liquid and the mud whatever it is present on underground that one we call it as a solid so whenever the rain is falling automatically what happens so it is forming a dispersion phase and also dispersion medium so large excess means what here liquid very minute means what here solid and next one solid and gas if you are taking so this one we call it as aerosols of solids we will be saying the colloidal system so here gas is nothing but what smoke dust storm so generally if you have observed this smoke so when the fire is getting the dust particles in the atmosphere so the dust particles and the smoke so automatically it observes means what here due to the presence of some gases like oxygen nitrogen methane gas so automatically what happens it is observing some colloidal solutions between them so that one we call it as smoke and dust storm or dust storm is nothing but that only next if suppose liquid is a dispersion phase you are taking and solid is a dispersion medium then we can say gels so jelly like compounds for example here we can take for this is the example here we can take butter and also butter jellies you will be eating jellies and boot polish when you polish the shoes so those are the examples we are taking here so means what butter as you know jelly is also somewhat juicy like compound boot polish if you have observed okay so next one liquid liquid so dispersion phase is liquid dispersion medium is liquid so and then what it is getting emulsions so emulsion means which type of compounds we can take milk so if you have observed milk so milk is a generally liquid in that oil content is present so means what here the oil content is also a liquid milk is also a liquid so medicines we can say if you have observed capsules so in capsules what happens it will be inside the capsule what happens there will be a liquid so those are the examples of the emulsions and next one is liquid gas dispersion phase is liquid another one is gas so this is we can say here aerosols of liquids we can say so this is example we can take fog liquid is nothing but in the winter season if you have observed so the fog is getting when you see so due to the what here due to the presence of dust particles on the clouds and also the watery is coming on the clouds we can say clouds example and also insecticide sprays rubber so those all will get on that the examples next one gas and solid if you are taking that one we call it as solid foam so here we can take rubber example and also foam is an example if you see when you spray when you are in your birthday parties what you will observe foam yes or no so means what due to the presence of the gas and solid only and next one is gas and liquid 
gas liquid so this one also will form the foam fruit so if you observe soda water soda water creams wiped creams so those type of things we call it as examples so this is nothing but some of the examples of the dispersion phase and dispersion medium so means what here dispersion phase is nothing but here what here very small particles we are taking whether you are if you are taking in solid liquid or gas that one should be in a minute particle that should be dispersed in a large particle means solute should be dispersed in the solvent that one we call it as dispersion phase coming to dispersion medium means what here the dispersion medium is nothing but here we should be in the large excess whether if you are taking solid liquid gas those should be in a large content that when we call it as dispersion medium so how we will be taking in colloidal system is these are the examples and in next class i will be explaining your classification thank you